am so thrilled that I'm coming to New Hampshire after winning Iowa. The American people are saying no to a rigged economy. The state of Iowa has spoken. Yeah! Iowa has sent notice. We will go on to easily beat Hillary or Bernie or whoever the hell they throw up there. After seven years of Barack Obama, we are not waiting any longer to take our country back. Voting in the race for the White House kicked off last night in Iowa. Hillary Clinton beating Bernie Sanders by a razor-thin margin. And Ted Cruz surging to victory over frontrunner Donald Trump. And Marco Rubio gaining a lot of momentum with a strong third-place finish. Joining me now to share their thoughts leading into the New Hampshire primary, pollster and political strategist Mike Dewidziak, the president of Strategic Planning, and, of course, Larry Levy, the executive dean for the National Center of Suburban Studies at Hofstra University and a former political columnist for Newsday. Welcome, gentlemen. So let's uh, let's start with the Republican side because mm -hmm. there, there are more candidates here. Right. Last night, this uh, my producer was talking about this. The newsroom was talking about mm -hmm. this. Everyone was saying, you know, Ted Cruz won and commanding lead. Mm -hmm. But everyone's talking about Marco Rubio today. Is this a Marco Rubio win, or is this? And I'll open this up to both of you. It's a Marco Rubio win. It's he, Marco Rubio. I, I think he had the best night of any candidate in on either side, because Iowa is all about either meeting or exceeding expectations. And he was the candidate who exceeded expectations last night. Okay. That's almost always the story when you look at Iowa. You look at who who did what they were supposed to do, who did less than they were supposed to do, and who did more than they were supposed to do. Marco Rubio did more than he was supposed to do. Clearly the story of the night. Okay, and Larry, so how does Marco... Yeah, I, 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 I agree with, uh, with Michael. Um, uh, Rubio uh, showed strength, not just in Iowa uh, and for the primary moving forward, but he gave a, 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 us a look of how he might perform in a general election. I mean, look, Iowa is not exactly a picture of America. Right. Forty-five percent mm -hmm. of the Democrats uh, were, are s reported that they are socialists. That's not exactly a picture of America. Right. And a vast majority of the Republicans voting were evangelicals. And again, that is not part of America. Right. So, um, but but there are places in Iowa that do look more like America, and it's Des Moines and the suburbs of West Des Moines. Mm -hmm. And Marco Rubio won big in those areas. And I know we're going to get to the Democrats, but so did Hillary Clinton. Right. OK, well, Ted Cruz did win last night, and it was a pretty commanding lead. So this is what he said. He's, he's, he has support of very strong conservatives, e evangelicals. Um, this is what he said about the uh, American electorate. I want to get your thoughts on the other side of this. This is a center-right country. This is a country built on Judeo-Christian values. And the heart of my campaign is based on common sense principles. Live within your means. Don't bankrupt our kids and grandkids. Follow the Constitution. OK, that plays well in Iowa. But you're saying there are some suburban well, areas. Well, and then the rest of the country, is the that country, well? The country probably is center right. But the emphasis is on center. It's suburban voters in perhaps 10 states mm -hmm. that have decided the last six or seven right. presidential elections and who controls Congress. Mm -hmm. And those are moderate places. The so-called the home of the so-called swing voter, mm -hmm. and the only places in Iowa that had anything like the demographics of the typical American suburb mm -hmm. were places where Ted Cruz did not do well, mm -hmm. and where Bernie Sanders did not do well. Okay, Mike, let me ask you this: uh, Donald Trump was leading in the polls going into Iowa. Mm -hmm. He's uh, leading in New Hampshire, commanding lead. Is this a new race, or are we still are, are we throwing the polls out at this point? Oh, we we always should have. I mean, l look. The, the big news as far as last night is concerned is we've got the kickoff. The game finally started. You think the two weeks of Super Bowl hype is bad? We've had a year of hype <laughs> on, we've had on this four years race. Of it. And, and, so, and, and, and throughout all this hype, I kept saying, nobody's voted for anybody yet. Right. So guess what? We've got the kickoff finally. Finally, somebody showed some support for somebody. And, and yes, bad news for Donald Trump is he lost a race he was expected to win. And again, it's all about the expectation game in right. the primary. Okay. And the expectation game is a little bit phony because it's based on polls. And if you know anything about polling, caucuses I know a bit. are, you know a lot about <laughs> polling, yeah, but the average person may not understand that caucuses are the absolute hardest right. kinds of races to do accurate polls on. So it may be all along that Ted Cruz 
was at 27% in Iowa. And maybe mm -hmm. all along Marco Rubio was at 23 and 12 Right. Excuse me. Was only at 24. We don't really know. Well, I, I could, we could talk about the Republicans all night, and it's, mm -hmm. it's a big field and mm -hmm. very lots of complex sure. issues. Let's move to the Democratic side real quick. Hillary mm -hmm. Clinton. Um, I mean, that was the, th the thinnest margin mm -hmm. ever in Iowa right. and in the caucus history. Mm -hmm. uh, she did come out with a win uh, in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. She's projecting another, probably a slim victory. Her projections. This is what she had to say. I'll get your response on the other side. I know that uh, they tend to favor their neighbors. That's the pattern, the history of uh, the primary, and uh, Senator Sanders is a neighbor. But I think we will have a good contest. Well, uh, Clinton did very well in, uh, in uh, excuse me, New Hampshire right. in uh, 2008. Remember, she had lost, finished, I think, third in Iowa back then to Obama and, uh, Edwards. Uh, and Edwards. And uh, she came into mm -hmm. uh, New Hampshire and won by a considerable margin. Right. Bill Clinton also did relatively well there. Uh, one of the reasons is because so although New, New Hampshire, Hampshire, again, is not exactly a picture of America, down time. there in that first congressional district from Manchester to the Massachusetts line have a lot of suburban type voters, swing voters. Right. In fact, they are suburban knights of Boston. So is this gonna be another slim margin? Uh, are we going to be looking for a long night here between uh, Hillary Clinton the and Bernie Sanders? Or, uh, look at the crystal ball. I, I don't think so. I think it's going to be an easy win for Bernie Sanders. For Bernie Sanders? I, I, think, I think it is. But I, I think what is significant about what last night is I think that Hillary actually did have a victory last night because she didn't lose. Right. Because if she, she was okay. facing two losses in the first two contests from uh, with Iowa and New Hampshire. That would have given Bernie Sanders a can, lot can, of momentum. But can Bernie Sanders move on from New Hampshire, though? Because he, he plays well, very well, well right now a, in these two states. She's got quite a firewall in the South. In she's the South got right and in now, the minority uh, vote. Look, yes, the women looking vote. at the polling, can, can he, she's got a big firewall in the South, and it's going to be very, very tough for him to compete down there, which is why I think he really needed the momentum of the first two contests. Right. So I think her even if you want to call it a draw for her last night, but if you, the win is a win no matter how right. small. Right. And I think she got a victory last night because she didn't lose. You know, you so can't, she's but just not going to lose the first two contests. Uh, I'm sorry, Mike. The, the, we're, but we're in the expectations games now. Mm -hmm. So she's 20 points down after a quote-unquote close call in Iowa. And if she suddenly loses by, loses by right. only eight points, which is a whooping, right. it'll be seen as a victory. Look, Hillary closed. She's surging into South Carolina. Okay, we're going to have to have you come back next week because uh, <laughs> the, the, I have a lot more questions. We have other candidates, and I, and I expect we're going to have some dropouts after New Hampshire, and okay. I'll get your thoughts on that next week. But appreciate your time, Mike DeWitziak, Larry Levy. Appreciate you coming Thank in. Thank you. All right, stay with News 12 Long Island. Bill Corbell will be up with your seven-day hyperlocal forecast. Mm -hmm.